Hi there, it's Rika Kovasin here with my second Seth Apter team post. This time I'm tackling sewing basket treasures. Why I chose this topic is because of my education. I'm a clothing designer by education, but I haven't really done that for, well, at all during my career. But I still like to work with fabric. So in these two following videos and this one, I'm tackling how to add sewing basket treasures to your mixed media projects. Each of the three projects has similar base. It's a wooden block where I then collage a piece of wrapping paper. And this wrapping paper actually contributed to the color scheme I'm using in the three. I mimic the dark denim kind of blue, golden accents and white in all of the three projects. I'm also making one kind of monoprinted sheet, which I then use in all of the three pages. In this one, I use it the most, but I include pieces of it to the other two as well. As you can see, I first layered some acrylic paint to my jelly plate and then used different Seth's stencils to pattern my print. I don't always put the whole sheet to the plate, but instead add just segments. After I have my monoprinted layers done, I'm adding some stenciling on top. I'm using the same color scheme throughout. There's the black, then darker blue, a lighter blue, like a denim blue, and then some white showing through. After I have enough pattern in there, I dry the layer and then add some embossing on top. For that I'm using Wow Embossing Ink and Paper Artsy Eclectica 18 stamp. To mimic the wrapping paper I'm using a weathered gold embossing powder from the Metals Trio. I also use another embossing powder to add some texture to the piece. This one is Sea of Tranquility from the Cosmic Trio. I added some weathered gold embossing powder to my background and also some white gesso. I repeat the white gesso to other two projects but leave the embossing powder off as it's not showing that much. I first layer some pieces I got from cleaning my plate and then pieces of the monoprinted cardstock I just made. I make the composition in my hand, but this time usually I would take a stapler and adhere these. But as I'm kind of going for the sewn kind of fabric imitation look, I use a sewing machine to attach the layers together. Then I also use a piece of ribbon, that one I just adhere using double-sided tape, and then I sew some buttons on top. Buttons make great embellishments. They are usually available in 
all the different colors of the rainbow. They are easily to access. And actually, to me, they are really beautiful. For example, these are from my grandmothers, so they have a story behind them as well. To add some extra sparkle or shine to my project, I'm using Aladdin Isink Eyes in the color of Snowball. I also use it to adhere a piece of old lace in place because it's acrylic based, so it will hold such a delicate, such a light element as the lace. I then use the foam tape to adhere the composition to my base and the piece is done. Here you can see some photos of it. I hope you liked the video. Please be back tomorrow for another one. Bye bye!